Hey guys, it's Free Wave Up. I hope you're good. So today, I'm starting to separate my witchcraft stuff. So, my parents are not together since I'm so small and I've been living with my mom for a while because I just, you know, didn't get along with my stepmom. And my stepmom and my dad are not together anymore. Which means I'm gonna start going to live with my dad again to, like, help him with my brothers, like, every other week. The thing is, all my witch stuff is right there. Oh, you can kind of see that Dionysus has a little candle burning. Um, so I'm starting to make uh, boxes to take my dad's house. So I want to take you along to this and making a new altar and everything. I'm just going to start by showing you what I have in these boxes for now. They are old shoe boxes. I have a kids and a converse box. So in this first box, a lot of candles. So, a lot of candles and incense. This is the same candle I use for Apollo. It's a lemon palm wax candle from the dollar store. A dollar fifty. He loves them. I have the one in stock for like if I run out, but like his, it's kind of running out. I need mean, more, but yeah. Then I have uh, same thing for Hades. Again, it's from a dollar store. Another dollar fifty. It is this blueberry pancakes um, candle from Old Old Williamsburg, and he loves it. I used to use that one just because it was dark blue and I didn't have a candle for him, but he just ends up loving it. And I have this candle I made for Dionysus not long ago. And, oh, it's, it's loose. Whatever, um, and I haven't burned it yet. I don't know why I did this hole in the middle, but whatever. I haven't burned it yet, so I'm gonna keep it. Then I have this one that I'm going to keep for Persephone because every time I burn it, she likes it, so I'm going to bring it for her. This is uh, Charmed Aroma, so it's like super surprise jewelry inside. It's the Sweet Dreams, so lavender and chamomile. Um, yeah, smells very good. And she likes it. So yeah, I don't have another one for Hecate. I'm going to need one. Either make one or get one or something. Then I have three Palo Santo six. Um, I had six, so I'm just taking half of them. I have three wicks because I like, you know, sometimes candles just for some reason they burn weird. So I will cut a piece of wick and just put it in so it just burns correctly. Um, then I have these um, from brand, I don't know, but they are the multicolor drip candles, uh, I got them on Amazon, I got a pack of four things like that, and they have two in each, and I burned them for Dionysus on top of, <laughs> of a monster can, um, he loves it, and so, I'm just gonna show you real quick, a candle, it looks like this, and you can see the colors in it, and when you burn, the colors just drip down. It looks very beautiful, and he loves it, so we have them in here. I keep like half here, and I'm gonna take half with me. I have chopsticks, because I use these to light candles that are like too deep. So I'm just gonna take a thing of chopstick. Then we have incense. I have this uh, Ham Precious Ember incense that Hades likes. Not the one I burned for him here, but he likes it, so I'm gonna bring that. And then I have two incense for Apollo because I'm not sure which one he's gonna like best. Um, currently, it is like the I don't know what brand of this, but it just says aromatic scents, incense sticks. Um, it's the same as these. It's the lotus one. He loves it. And these two, like I just went through all of them, and these two also popped out. So. I'm not sure, this is Jasmine and Lily. Not sure which one they like the best, but yeah. And then if we get in the second box, I've got, um, I'm gonna stay on theme, where is it? This incense thing that has vanilla, raspberry, and um, cinnamon. You know what? This is a perfect thing for me because vanilla is for sesame, raspberry is for hackate and cinnamon is for Dionysus, so it's like perfect for me to have this bag, so I'm taking that. Then I have this oil, 
Uh, it's a Luna Witch Body Oil by Lucy Living Co. It is Lying Lying Lavender. Sorry, I just got really into the little... So yeah, I don't use this one a lot, but like if I need oil for something, I'm gonna have it. You know? Then I have green post-its because I write a lot like of spells or wishes or whatever on green post-its. Then I have an empty monster can because, as I said, I have one of these on Dionysus' altar and I melt stuff on it, so yeah, and this is asshole monster because I don't know, it's the one that, like, I have way too much uh, monster cans because I'm planning to make stuff for um, Dionysus with them. Is someone just fall? No, okay. And, uh, yeah. So that's one of them. And you liked it. Then I have a lighter. It's a brand new one. So, yeah, it's a 1608 because Quebec was founded in 1608. Oh, also, like, I saw it's totally judging everyone right now, so. And I have this mannequin I call, which I have, uh, you can see the golden one, like, right here. This one, this small one is to be on my altar, and the big one on, on the shelf I can't see. I'm just gonna take the little one to keep it on my altar, because mannequin echoes are just thing I've loved forever, and they're kind of part, no, they're not kind of, they're part of my practice now, so, mannequin echo. Lucky cat. Then I took these. I'm not sure why. I think like for helping them start with the environment before I change their candles. These are small candles I've made with their actual candle they have here. So we have Apollo's, which is well, it's the same one, but just lemon. Oh, it smells so good. I opened it and just was slapped by the smell. Dionysus. Look at it's cinnamon. We have these, like they have the little name stickers on it. Which again, blueberry pancake. This one didn't want to go in normally, but we have Persephone. What she has here is rosebuds. Looks a little purple, but it's rosebuds. And then Hecate. Which is this one, which is the one I made her. Which is Violet and Forget Me Not. I have a full video of like me making her candle a little while back. But yeah, I have that. Just in case, like, I don't know, they don't like their Nintendo or whatever. I have this. Then I have this little hill thing of uh, Emalian salt mixed with, you know, regular salt. And I have a little thing of bay leaves. A little thing of sage. Rose petals. Lavender. And cinnamon, which is what I use the most with salt. So I got that. And I also have two empty little jars. Then I have a black tourmaline because it's my favorite crystal. So I have a black tourmaline. And then I have one of these. I made <laughs> melted a tea light and added green and power and a little bit of cinnamon. And this is the prosperity candle I made. And besides that, I have just a ton of little tea light candles. That's what I have for now. I'm gonna go choose the books I'm taking with me. This is gonna be a little harder. But yeah, gonna take a couple books. So here are my books. Uh, I know I'm taking these two, which is Wicca, uh, Guide to Solitary Practitioner by Cunningham and Witch by Lisa Listener. And then besides that, I have literally no idea. I think, like, I'm, there's some that I'm going to take with me back and forth, like the Witch's Book of Self-Care. Um, and besides that, Witch's Journal, no. I love Witch's Journal, but I don't think so. Another Wicca thing. Spells. I don't know. Like, honestly, this one's going to come back and forth with me. So I'm going to put it like on the top of them, like that, and these two are going to be with me at all times. And now let's choose, let's choose an oracle and a tarot. I'm so excited. Okay. So. <laughs> um. Oops. I really don't know. 
I love this one, but it doesn't have a little, like, note book in it. I think I'm gonna take the Manga Tarot, because I have a good connection with it, and I already know that. And the Goddess uh, Power Oracle, because it's the same. Like, I have a good connection with them. And, you know, even, like, if this one I have a good connection or whatever. Like, just these two could come with me at any time. Like, this tarot for me is kind of a bitch, but, like, saying the truth. And this one is just really connected to Hecate, and I just have such a good vibe with it. So yeah, <laughs> and um, notebook or something, I don't know, yeah, look at him, oh, look at them, okay, in here, hmm, I have these notebooks, which are books of shadows, well, that I haven't started, so I think I'm going to take one, keep it at my dad's house, I think the red one, red one, let's go, nope, green one, green one, totally, so I think the green one, we're at my dad's house, if I want to do some pages. So that's that. Uh, besides that, let's say, um, you know, besides that, I don't, there's nothing I really want to bring. So I'm also going to bring back and forth my working book of shadow. So I just do research and stuff. So I'm going to put that with the rest. I'm saying like back and forth stuff. I'm going to take this cell night egg back and forth with me because I feel like it just holds so much power and I want it at all time. And I am, they're mostly dry, but these are lemons. And I also have some oranges um, in the oven right now. I take them for apple, apple so I'm gonna take a couple of lemon, a couple of oranges, bring it with me. So that's that for now, I guess. Update already, I will not be taking this one with me. Disgusting. Look at that mess of monster bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking it. I'm gonna actually take just my normal look shadows back and forth. Um, probably a couple art supplies because I do art anyways with or without my look shadows. So yeah. Also, um, because I'm going there like after Samhain, I can take it out. But I'm gonna bring this for Hades for his altar at my dad's house. So yeah, right now it's on the Samhain space. But yeah, it's definitely gonna come on his altar. A couple weeks later, I'm finally in my room at my dad's house. And this here is gonna be where I put my altar on top and some stuff in it. So I'm gonna take the books that are here, put it in the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing some stuff and I'll show you what I do. Also, while I'm doing that, let me give you some insight about my father. He once clearly told me that if he had to follow a religion, like if, if he had to, it would be Wicca. And also, when I said like, oh, like that would be perfect for my altar because my mom was there and she knows I have one at her house. She's like, oh yeah, I was pretty sure you were gonna say that. But I was like, oh, altar? I was like, yeah, you know, for my witchcraft. And he's like, oh, for your Wicca. And I'm like, well, not Wicca, but just witchcraft. He's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, and I showed him a picture of my Halloween altar I made and he was like super into it. So that's pretty nice. Um, doing it, it's kind of long to do, but. Yeah, I'm listening to two songs on repeat, a uh, threesome by I Don't Remember Who, and the band by Fouché, I think that's how you say her name. Also, I'm doing my laundry into <laughs> my bed. Yeah, lots going on right now, and I found this book about uh, flora of uh, Quebec. I'm in the province of Quebec. That's pretty nice, and I found some leaves. Um, some dried leaves from like years ago, so that's... That's a nice thing. Ooh. So this is all done. I just have to put my stuff in. Uh, I tried to wash it as good as I can, but it's like not the best, but yeah. Let's just, let's do this. So this is my altar for now, obviously, like I don't have much stuff right now for any of them. So we're gonna start at the top. On this side, this is Dionysus' stuff. This is a candle I made for him. Uh, he loves having a thing on top of a monster can, so I just did that, like I have on my mom's house. This is Steve, you might have seen him in my altar tour from Halloween, Samhain, and um, Maven. 
Maybon. Yeah, Dionysus loved him. And they all have a, a little candle and this for offerings and stuff like that also. This is Frieza the Triceratops and this little thing. I don't even know what that is, but Dionysus claimed them. Yeah. Then I have my incense burner. Right now this is Hecate's incense burning. On this side we have all my little vials of stuff. So we have cinnamon, bay leaves, sage, this lavender and rose petals, some salt mixed with a millennial. I don't know how to say that sound, but yeah. <laughs> and we know which body oil by Lucid Living Co. I have a mannequin neko because I love them and I put them in my practice. I have this, which uh San Paulo, I think. I never remember the name, but yeah, I have it just staying here for cleansing. And a little tourmaline in here. Then we get on here, and I don't have anything on these yet, and I don't even know what I'm gonna put on there. Probably like store candles or something. Here we have Wicca Guide for a Solitary Practitioner. My fauna. No, it's not fauna. It's flora book. Which my um, tarot and oracle. This is Hades Skull. Again, have this and a candle here, and this is also a candle for him that he loves, and I know it. In here, there's just like candles and incense. This is Hecate is with her little thing. This is Persephone with her little thing and her candle that she just loves. Um, it's her new candle, but it's a Sweet Dreams by Charmed Aroma, Lavender, and Chamomile. And here we have Apollo's little cup. This candle that he has the same at my other house and he loves it and this van gogh um book because he just he enjoys van gogh um so yeah that's it for now hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye